The first feature is about bringing information from different sources into your notes. So I will take out this edge panel, then I select this internet browser and I open here in this split screen. So here you can see I search some images on Google. For example, I like this image, I just select it. So here you can see I have this labeling in this image, but I don't want this labeling, I only want this part of the image. I will just press and hold it like this, a menu will open. I will just scroll down and here you see this option of clip subject from background. So you just select it. Once you select it, you can see the image pop out from this labeling. You can just press and hold it like this and now you can drag it into your notes. So here you can see I can easily drag this image into my notes. And then if you want, you can make it bigger. So here you can see and then if you want you can also rotate it and then you can do all your labeling if you want to highlight something you can do it. Same way you can also bring any text from a website into your notes. So for example I open this website and here you can see I have this text. Now I want this text into my notes I will use my S Pen press and hold it like this and then I can easily drag and drop here into my notes. So here you can see I can just drag and drop. You can also edit this text. So for example, I want to edit it from here. So here you can see I can easily edit it. The next thing is you can also bring a full website into your notes. For example, I have this website and I want to bring it here in my notes. So here you can see at the bottom it is giving me the option of a whole page or link. So I just select this whole page. So once you select it, it will start adding this whole website into your notes. It will take just a few seconds and it will also include all these images and the text as well. So here you can see I have this website into my notes. So here you can see all the text available. Every image is also available here. And then if you want, you can also write here. If you want to use the highlighter, if you want to highlight something, you can highlight here in your notes. The next thing is you can also bring any object from a video into your notes. For example, I will take out this edge panel and I will play this video in this split screen. And here if you find something interesting that you want into your notes, you so you can just pause it like this. For example, I want this table into my notes. I will just press and hold it like this and then I can drag here into my notes like that. And then if you want, you can rotate it, you can make it size bigger, you can crop it, you can do all your your editing. Same way you can also bring any object from image. So I will open this image. For example, I want this item into my notes. So I will just press and hold it like this. And here you can see I can easily grab this specific object and I can bring here into my notes. The next feature is about page sorter option. So if I just select this icon from here, so here on left side, I have my page sorter option available. Now here I can do a lot of things. For example, if I want to rearrange the pages, for example, I want this page and I want to change its position so I can move it anywhere. For example, I want to put it here. I can just put it here like this. The next thing is if you want to add new pages, you can also add new pages from here. Here are different pages option. You can select any page and the new page will be added. You can also erase anything from your page by just using the sorter option. For example, I select this page and I want to erase everything from this specific page. So I will just select these three dots and here is the erase page option. So once you select it like this, it will erase everything from your page. The next feature is about voice recording. So if you want to record your lecture, you can also do it. So what you have to do is you just select this attach icon and then here you see this option of voice recording. Just select it. Once you select it, it will start voice recording. So you can take your notes and you can also record your lecture. Once you finish, you can just stop it from here and then if you want to play it, you can play it from here. Now let's talk about tools. So I will open a new note. So here on top we have different tools available. The first tool that I'm going to talk about about is this shape tool. So you can create neat shapes. So here you can see I just make a circle and it will make it neat for me. And here you can see 
So this is how you can use this shape tool. You can also edit these shapes. So for example, I just select this shape. Here is the option of change style. So if I want to fill it, so I can just fill it with any color. For example, I just fill it with this color. And then for the outline, I will also change the color and then I press done. So this is how you can change the shapes as well. The next tool is handwriting to text tool. So once I select this tool, whatever I write, it will convert it into the text. So here you can see I use my S Pen handwriting and it will convert it into the text. The next thing is you can also use normal pen tool for handwriting. So here you can see I use my pen tool and if you just select it here we have different pens option. Then we have different thickness, different style and different colors option. So if you want to change the color you can change the color from here. You can also select the spectrum or swatches option and then if you want you can also change the pen from here. The next thing is you can also use this highlighter tool. Same for the highlighter tool we have four different type of highlighters and then we have different thickness different opacity options available so you can use this highlighter tool as well